Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Wilmer Woodworks, and today we are going to be doing a quick and hopefully easy replacement of a Ryobi table saw, the B3000 or B3100. Unfortunately, after I was done ripping all of these uh, maple, walnut, and cherry uh, blanks from my cut upcoming cutting boards, the dry belt pretty much disintegrated on me. And it was a little nerve wracking when it happened. But after a quick search on eBay, I was actually able to find the replacement belt for only about 20 bucks. So let's get this thing repaired. So these are the dry belts that I found off of eBay. And they're a lot smaller than I thought they were going to be. But uh, yeah, hopefully they work out. We'll be able to get this guy squared away. So I think the easiest thing to start is just to flip it over. And of course, this is unplugged so let's see and also i've never done this before this is a newer saw to me so you and i are learning together I just have the saw tipped up on its side. I think taking this side axis panel might be the easiest way to get to it. Now anytime I like I do any of this work, I love these magnetic trays. It really helps by making sure all my little fasteners and parts don't go everywhere. And since they're magnetic, I can actually just attach them to the side of the whatever I'm working on. And they won't move. Uh, you can usually get those. They used to give them away for free at Harbor Freight. If not, they're just a few bucks. It's one of those things that if you're looking for a Father's Day gift for somebody or a uh, Christmas gift or stocking stuffer, get them one of those magnetic trays, even if he has them. Because you can never have too many. I think I may have five or... Oop, well, that's gone. Try to get that out of there before. Mm. Tweezers. Now, hopefully. Oh, yeah. Now, this panel comes off. I'll put this over there since those are those screws. You just want to use a hand screwdriver for this. You don't want to grab a drill or an impact or anything because you don't want to try to accidentally damage these these screws. Okay. All right, I'm just going to remove that blade and we'll be right back. Okay, now we got the blade off, which was a 19 millimeter, in case anybody needs to know. And let's see.
Well, I may have made a mistake, but I don't know how else to get this on. So I got the whole mount off of this. And there were some shims. These were underneath and these were in between. So I'm going to vacuum all this out, get the new belt on, put it together and see what happens. I saw a line where some people put these in boiling water to loosen up the, the rubber, but I'm just going to see what we can get on the large one first. Okay, so maybe I'm going to set that up on a time lapse because I could see this is going to take a minute. I fought for hours to try to get these belts on. I did everything I could think of. I even took the motor out of the motor armature out of the casing, thinking maybe I could slide the belts through that way. They just weren't going. I tried boiling the belts, seeing if that would give them a little bit more give. Nothing I did would help. All belts are not created equally. So I bought this belt off of eBay for my Ryobi BT3100 table saw. It's 13 bucks for two. It didn't fit. I emailed the seller and said, look, it didn't fit. Must be something in the manufacturing. Maybe it's just a little off, right? So they said, well, no, we've sold 3,000 of these. It fits on every, you know, every time, no issues. You got to be putting it on wrong. Try putting it on this way. So I did their recommendation and the belt started to slip. So then I read some reviews on Amazon for this. And first review up said, don't buy the black cheap ones from eBay because they rip. They don't fit. They're actually a little too small. Now these, if you've ever put one of these on, it is a bear to get to. And, you know, you can't use a pry bar or anything like that. You just have to ease them on. And, man, I used so many cuss words and swear words that it would make a sailor blush. But when you put these belts side by side, you can see this orange belt is a little bit bigger. And it's got a little give to it, too. Whereas this one is, like, Kevlar reinforced. It does not stretch. This one is more like a real belt. So we're going to try to put this one on now and see what happens. All right, you can see here it's been about 30 seconds, and at least this belt here I've got on both shafts. So now I just have to work this down because I do have to get both of these belts on this. Well, let's see. So, just pushing in on the belt and rotating it seems to be getting it to to move a few spaces. So, yeah, I think this is just going to take a little bit of effort. Usually start again. So get it on the bottom. Get one or two. Okay. So that's on. Now we just push and rotate and push and rotate push i'm pushing this way and then i'm just rotating it down for the bottom one and then i'm pushing in and i'm rotating back up to the top one and i'm making sure that i go all the way around all right so the top is on 
and that's it. Now the bottom is on. Look how easy that was. What'd that take? Five minutes. And I struggled for two days with those black belts. So note to self, do not buy these belts. Buy those. They are going to be expensive. They're $18 each on eBay. I'm going to put the link in the video. But if you have this saw, save yourself the heartache and the sore fingers. Because that's another thing. I could barely feel my fingers for two days after messing with that. So do not buy those black, cheap belts. You get what you pay for. All right. Now I'm just going to put the little time lapse on this and put this saw back together. And hopefully it fires up. Okay, now for the moment of truth, let's fire it up and see what it does. Got my little 45 degree, we'll just cut a piece of, we'll just cut a piece of this. Very important, don't forget to put on your safety glasses. Alright, here goes nothing, let's first see if it just fires up. Nice. I think we can call that a success. All right, guys, that is how to replace the drive belt on a Ryobi BT3000 or BT3100 uh, table saw, 10 inch. Do not buy these rubber belts off of eBay. They're $13 on eBay for two, but you will have to return them and buy the $18 each ones from Amazon. I will leave it link in the description below it's an affiliate link i don't know these people but i don't know if they'll even give me any affiliate workings on that but uh help yourself and do not buy these because these just break they have no give and they're too small right in the garbage with that all right guys appreciate you watching be sure to check out some of my other videos and until next time i'm steve